In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a knurled texture on a cylindrical object. This could be used for a bicycle handlebar or anything else that you need grip. And it's a great way to make a pattern on a surface that is not flat. The first thing I'll do is create a cylinder. I'll click on the ground plane, then I'll click the origin, and the diameter will be 40, and then the height I'll make 130. This is a pretty good size for a handlebar. You can make it a little longer if you have larger hands. Next, I'm going to construct an offset plane. I'm going to click on the bottom of the object and I'm gonna go down two millimeters. Next, I'm going to create a coil. I wanna start from this offset plane. The reason for this offset plane is so that the coil starts before the object and we can use it as a cutting tool. Then I'll click the origin and my diameter will be the same, 40. And then I'll bring the coil up and the height needs to be taller. So it needs to be 130 plus the two millimeters down below plus another two millimeters. So 134. Then we can change some features of the coil. We need to change it to triangular. Yours is probably circular to start. So I'm gonna go triangular internal. Then the section position is by default on center, but if you look, that will make it stick way far out. So we'll go ahead and make it on inside. And then we wanna change the size. So we'll go ahead and change the section size to two millimeters. And then the revolutions by default are three revolutions. So you have a coil like this. We're gonna change that to one revolution and we'll leave the operation as cut and we'll say, okay. Now we have this coil going around. So we need to create a mirror. Remember yours will be on faces. So make sure you click features. We're gonna click this coil. And then for our mirror plane, we'll click this mirror plane. You wanna make sure that the tops are opposite each other, then press okay. Now we'll create a pattern and the pattern will be a circular pattern. Once again, this will come in as faces typically. So make sure you change it to features. Then the two features we want is this first coil and then the mirror. Then our axis will be the center axis. And notice that I can't click the center axis. So what you can do is click and hold. Then you can click the center axis. And you can see that now we have this knurled pattern going away. If I press okay, that looks kind of fun, but we can go in and edit our circular pattern and then we can make it many more. So what if I type 20 and say, okay. And then after that's done computing, you have this really nice knurled pattern going across the surface. So this is a really fast way to make a texture like this that would be very difficult to hand model. To finish off our handlebars, we'll go ahead and create a sketch on the top plane here. Then we'll create a circle and we'll extend out 50. Then we'll extrude this circle and we're gonna go ahead and just grab all of this and we'll go up 10. And this time we're gonna make a new body, say okay. And we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and show that sketch again and we can hide this body. And then we'll press extrude and we'll click this one and this one. And then for the start, We'll choose an object, we'll rotate around, we'll click the bottom, and then we'll type negative 10 for the distance. And once again, we'll make a new body and we'll say, okay. Now we can show this body again. Even though we didn't use Fusion's rule number one to make a component, we can make this a decent model. Hide the sketch, then click all three bodies, right click, create components from bodies. Now we have three components. When I activate this component, it doesn't have all the design history for it, but it still is now a separate component. That's why we use rule number one, but for a small model like this, this is fine. And then we can go ahead and give it some appearances. I'd like to give this some ABS white on the top here, and then let's give it some chrome. And then I'm gonna double click the chrome and just increase the roughness a little bit so that it's not so perfect. I'll click done. 
And then we'll go ahead and each of these components, I will click the edges and then give it a little bit of a chamfer. Let's see, one millimeter chamfer, that looks good. And then okay, and then we'll do the same thing down here. I'll activate this component and then I'll click these two edges, modify, chamfer, one millimeter chamfer, okay. Activate the top level component. Then if we go to our render workspace, we can see our really cool knurled handlebar or knob or anything else that you need a texture like this. So hopefully you can make some really cool knurled textures on cylinders in your projects.